Good evening and welcome to the biggest event in the Irish literary calendar. It's just about to get underway. Tonight we welcome the publishers, the booksellers and of course the authors who've given us such fantastic books to read over the last 12 months. Now some of those authors have already taken their places amongst the world's literary greats. Others though are just at the start of that incredible journey. So we are in for a great night here. So do stay tuned for the Uncus Irish Book Awards 2018. This is huge. Being here, being on the short list is everything. So for me, really, that's winning. Thanks. Cecilia, you are such a loyal and enthusiastic supporter of these awards. Only because they're supportive of me. Um, yeah, nominated again. So this is the first time in the short story category. Uh, I couldn't not come. I couldn't not come to the big party. If I'm really honest, I'm really looking forward to looking at the spectacle. Just having a look at the whole thing. Just watching what happens at it. Well, it's absolutely wonderful and very heartwarming to discover that lots and lots of people in Ireland are buying and talking about my book. I mean, I just feel so moved by that. And it just shows how much Ireland values its writers and its authors and get to bring them all together and tell them they're great. So we need that as authors. It's nice when you're kind to us. It is my first time and it's, it's fantastic. It's, the room is just buzzing with excitement. It's, it's amazing to see so many incredible authors here who I admire so much just milling around, you know, trying to keep my cool. But to see such a strong non-fiction field is really gratifying as well. Such a range of subjects covered as well. Climate change, social history, sports history. There really is a great range of stuff there. The novel category that I'm in has got the Booker Prize winner in it, so, you know. No pressure for anybody. Well, really. I'm not going to be preparing a speech for that one. The weather book is great. Uh, that weather book where the weather lady is really good. Oh, we have a lot of weather. Right? I know, and weather is like hail. Right like, I'm fighting the losing battle here against the weather thing. Well, I mean, personally, I have a queue now of books to read over the next few months that I've gotten from the shortlist and I, I, I can't get through them quick enough. It's, number one is humanology, which I'm loving at the moment, even though it's competition for me tonight. Normally at these black tie events, I'm often on the stage or whatever. So I've, on the basis that I'm here and I will not be on the stage, I'm here for a night out. I've picked a couple of the sports lads who were on a night out. Um, I think it's such an honour to be nominated in the short story category, like alongside writers I love, like um, Nulo O'Connor and Mia Galler and Keelan and Roisin and Cecilia. I mean, it's it's a very, very strong shortlist. Well, that's it. I mean, the only hope that a, um, a writer ever really has is that their work can be read. You know, so for the people to read it, it's just a, it's a dream, really. I don't see myself as an author per se, I see myself as someone who has written a book about an area that I adore, so to be in rooms with people that I've held in high esteem for years, I'm going to be quiet, which is not the norm for me, and just take it all in and enjoy it. Because you put so much love and effort and work into creating a book, so it's nice to get all dressed up and have a bit of fun. To be honest, with this particular book, with the kids' book, I, I was quite nervous about writing one and putting it out and all that kind of stuff, so to get the reaction and to get nominated and all that for it, it's... Um, very, very chuffed with myself. So it's wonderful to come to a night like this that celebrates literature, it's a bit of glamour, it's like the Christmas party for writers, we get to all meet each other and have a good time, it's fantastic. Now a lot of writers tell me that this night matters, it's kind of like their Christmas party. How do you feel about meeting so many writers in the same room tonight? It's brilliant because I spend so much time at home writing books on my own, so it's great to mingle and meet people. I've pretty much interviewed everyone here at least once, so there are very few strangers here. Uh, they're all readers. Uh, and they uh, belong in my world and me to theirs. You know, it's incredible uh, to see how important books are in Ireland. I think reading is a mass entertainment still in Ireland. And also Ireland is full of stories. Uh, so it's almost an embarrassment. You, you, you know, when my mother takes me for a walk, every house we pass has some mad story that could be a novel.